So hi you guys and welcome to my game week 38 video and sadly this is my last FPL video for the season. <coughs> we are all over and done with, I hope you have had a fantastic FPL season and it's been brilliant for you guys. It's been my first season on YouTube and on Twitter and I started six weeks in so I don't have an OR to show you I'm afraid but hopefully next season I will be able to get a bit more involved, join a few more leagues and next season my aim is to definitely get somewhere in the overall rankings that competes with some of the bigger guns. That's the plan, we'll see how it goes. Now there are far too many names for me to mention for people who have helped me out starting on this journey. So instead of me boring you all with a long list in a video, you'll be able to catch them all on Twitter. But I just want to say I'm so grateful for all of your support. You guys have been brilliant. So now let's just take a look at my game week 38 points to wrap up how I've done in the last game week of the season. So here are my game week 38 points and yes I made 100 points again for the second time this season. There was a time at the beginning of the season where I didn't even think I'd make it into that club once let alone twice so I'm chuffed that I finished the season strongly. So for any of those wondering I did take a minus four so even with the minus four still in the 100 club. <laughs> I decided to take the risky strategy of triple captaining in the last game week and thankfully it paid off because my triple captain Kane got me a hat trick <laughs> and netted me 51 points. Now as an Arsenal fan it's not customary to support Spurs in any way but when it comes to FPL you can't ignore the Spurs players this season, they've been brilliant and I'm not biased towards any club anyway. I think Harry Kane's points will pretty much have cemented him as being one of the key players to get into people's FPL teams at the start of next season but he isn't going to be cheap. Next up and just to know as discussed with the at Fan Feud boys again during the week where I was asked to come back onto the pod for the final podcast of the season. Jesus grabbing me 11 points. And I bigged him up on the pod because he just looks fantastic. He is definitely going to be a one to watch for next season. Again, don't expect his price to stay the same though. There was a bit of a panic. Right before the game week were about to start, I played the really risky, risky game of waiting until as close to the mark as I possibly could for the deadline. That meant two things. Number one, I was stressed out as hell and I don't recommend it much to anybody. But number two, it did mean that I found out that Josh King was injured last minute and this allowed me to make some last minute changes. So where I had planned to get votes for Gabby Adini and maybe take a minus four point hit somewhere else, I quickly changed my strategy around and I transferred out Hazard and King for Coutinho and Fabregas. Fab Sesk picked me up a whole 8 points and Coutinho didn't disappoint with 10. And even though Hazard did score a goal, by making those two changes and getting King out where he didn't play, this actually got me more points overall. Nobody else to note really, I played the strongest team I had. Caballero finally getting me the 6 points that I was expecting with a clean sheet against Watford. And Ericsson providing 2 assists in that Spurs onslaught where they beat Hull 7-1. And thank you, Klukas, from FPL managers everywhere who have a Spurs defender for scoring that one goal because I'm pretty sure we're all thinking that's fairly pointless and you just wiped out our clean sheet. However, anyone without a Spurs defender will have been very happy with you. It was a nutty game week for goals and there were plenty of them, meaning that us FPL managers had plenty of opportunities to make lots of points. And that's exactly how we like it, an exciting end to the season. It's at this point I want to mention that unfortunately nobody won the scribble here behind my shoulder in my competition for somebody to guess how many goals it is that Chelsea the champions would score on the last day of the season. They scored five and I think the closest we got was four. But that's no worries because I do hope to do far more competitions next season. I'll just take a moment to let you guys know that I will 
be on Twitter mm -hmm. and YouTube over mm. the summer. I don't plan to take time off. I'm going to do some gaming videos, I hope, for YouTube. Something a bit different in between. And for next season in the FPL, I have lots and lots of ideas. I'm hoping to switch up some graphics and to add some more stats to my videos and maybe some ones to watch and people to avoid. Things like that. So I'm going to try and do maybe a bit of a pre-season video to help you guys when you're setting up your FPL teams. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, if there's anything you want to see me do or next season, if there are any points that you think would be really helpful for you that I can mention in my videos, then of course, please do comment below or send me a message on Twitter. And now all that's left me to say is thank you from the bottom of my heart once again for taking me into the FPL community and following me and subscribing to my channel. Until next season, don't forget to like, subscribe and do all those fabulous things. Nymphria out.